Hey everybody, today I have a BMW X1 X-Drive 28i. So what we have underneath the hood is a two liter twin turbocharged engine, I guess, because it says twin power turbo. This is a four cylinder, two liter, that's also, they put these motors in the Mini Coopers. So today what we're doing on this car here, it appears to have a leak down here. And we do believe it is the oil filter, oil cooler house. So let me show you the part we got for it. This is the oil filter, oil cooler housing. Now on the original one, this back piece here is plastic. And we do believe that the plastic piece has failed and it's leaking water out of it. It's really hard to see in there, but there's nothing else close to it. So it's got to be this piece. So we're going to go ahead and change the oil filter housing. It came with bolts and this is an aftermarket part. This is not an original BMW part because this is metal. All right. And as you can see, it's all pretty much crammed up in here and you can't get to it. So you have to take out the radiator support. So we already taken two, bolt, two nuts off here for this fresh air thing. This slides out. I put it over here where I put all the parts. And as you can see, you still can't see anything. But if you look way, way down there, right there, that is the top of the oil cooler. So that's where we got to get to. So let me get this upper piece, the radiator support taken off and the upper hose taken off and we'll come back and see if we can even get a chance to look at that so this is held on by a bunch of uh, of torque bolts and we'll get that off and i'll come back all righty so i had to take the air filter housing out because there's one bolt right here that bolts to this upper plate so it's one bolt and then the wire connection and the hose clamp so i've got the air filter out this piece here you have to take out a million bolts and there's one bolt here but that is a different size torx than the rest so be careful so i went ahead and i got my my bore scope out so i could try to figure out exactly where this thing is leaking because as you can see there's a lot of stuff in the way and you cannot see what's happening so if you look at my bore scope right here right here if you look very closely you'll see a bubble there's a bubble there's a bubble um, I'd reach over and pump it up some more to give it you know, a little bit, but this is the top of that oil filter housing, oil filter cooler. Let me show you on this one here. Basically, it is leaking right in this area because there's this piece and it's leaking right there. Yeah, it's leaking where this piece meets the block of the engine then it's running down this side and dripping and you don't know where it's coming from so we have definitely confirmed the problem let me uh there we go and yeah see it bubbling more i gave it a couple pumps so we have now confirmed the problem we'll cut this off and get this out of here it over here for now all right all righty so now uh and this is the hood release cable you have to pop the clips off of the upper support so now we need to get some of these hoses out of here and they tell you to be really careful because of course you have these plastic hoses that run over to uh the, the radiator fill bottle here so we're going to be real careful taking this out and taking anything out that we're going to have to reuse so let me get in here again and we'll get the upper hose out i'll get this plastic hose out and then we need to get the fans out once we get the fans out hopefully i'll be able to show you a little bit better in there all righty so i got this coolant line removed from the bottle it runs from the bottle here crossed over underneath the manifold i went ahead and unplugged this connection here to get it out of my way that was poking me 
the upper radiator hose here goes underneath here. I was able to disconnect the clamp. So now the only thing I'm, and then I also disconnected the electrical connection to the cooling fan. We have to get the cooling fans out so we can get, get down in here. The only thing that's really strange about this one is the cooling fan, you're gonna need like a long torque spit to be able to reach down in there to get this out. I don't know why they designed it this way, but that's what they did. Uh, because I think that's what holds the radiator to the upper uh, the upper radiator piece, this piece here. Yeah, they go through here. So that's why they're so funky. But you gotta take those loose. And now the fan should just slide out. Yeah. Might be stuck in here. Uh, there might be something else. Let me take a look and see if there's something else holding the fan in. And we'll be right back. Okay. So, to get the fan out, this is kind of stupid. We took the two bolts out of the top here. But it also has a clip here that you have to push over. And then on this side here, it's got two clips that you have to push over so it will release from here. But once you get it released from there, the fan slides right out. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out how to do that. So now we're slowly getting closer and closer. There is the oil cooler part. So now we need to uh, get this out. This is the auxiliary, oops, sorry, I can't see. That is the auxiliary water pump. So we'll get that up out of the way. And then hopefully we'll be able to get to all the bolts to get that oil filter, oil cooler housing out. Let me uh, go ahead and dip in. And another problem is we've got some, some of these lines in the way. I guess these are vacuum lines in the way. We're gonna have to unhook to get them out of the way. But we'll just get in here and start working on it. So let's get the auxiliary fuel uh, water pump out and um, we'll start taking the bolts out of that housing, I think. Alrighty, so I put my cardboard here in front of the radiator to help protect the radiator. And I have the, the auxiliary water pump there just pushed out of the way. And I have its other cooling hose jammed over here. So now you can kind of see a better shot of the oil filter cooler. Everything's not good lighting. Trying to get better lighting. Better lighting. Better lighting. No, it's not working either. Okay. So we have these lines that you have to unclip and then unclip them from down here. And then you have to unclip the battery from here. Keep the water pump out of the way. I'll probably get a bungee cord. So now all we have to do is get in here and get the hoses out. And like I said earlier, it's leaking right up there. I know this light's probably too bright, but that's where it's leaking from. Oh, and this is the electrical connection for the auxiliary water pump. Sorry about the furnace, it's very cold today. We have a uh, freezing rain, rain in the forecast. So let me get in here, and I do believe you remove all these reverse torque bolts, and then this thing should slide right out of here. Alrighty, I've got all three of the bolts taken loose except for one. So I'm gonna pass it off to G Jr. And we're gonna get in here and take this last bolt out. At least I think this is the last bolt. Now we have these lines that we have to worry about, so you just gotta remember which way it goes through. This should just pop off of here now. Uh, let me double check and make sure I have all the line. Oh, I think I'm missing one. Yeah, I'm missing one. It's over here. It's all the way over in this side here. Behind the these wires. vacuum lines. Yeah. Uh, right in there. Actually, these aren't vacuum lines. These are electrical wires. I know they look like vacuum lines, but they're actually... Uh, uh. So there is one hidden bolt way back in here. 
but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get on it with this. Oh, I'm on it. Okay, so I missed one. All right, so let's, yeah, I let's see it moving. Uh, BMW with all these electrical wires. better flashlight in here so we see what we're doing. It's right there. And I think that's it. So now let's see. Yep, there we go. So, all these wires, my goodness. Yeah, so, oh, there's another electrical wire connected down there. Behind the one, behind the one, there's another one. Let's see if I can get this disconnected easily. Oh, yes, yeah, see right there, I've got another electrical wire connected there. I'm trying to disconnect. So I'm having a problem getting this one electrical wire. You know, I don't understand why they have to have everything connected to everything. So now, I think I have everything disconnected. This should just lift right up out of here. And there we go. Let's see if we can figure out why it was leaking. Okay, yeah, here, hold, hold the camera again. So if you notice right here, it's broken right there. See where it's broken? And I guarantee you that seal blew in. Here, let me grab the seal off of here. Yep, and the seal's broken. So the seal goes in here like that, and it, the plastic failed, and then the seal blew in, and then it started leaking water. So we shouldn't have this problem anymore because we're replacing this crappy, crappy plastic with all metal. Yep. So... That's the problem right there. As you can see that the plastic failed and the basically it herniated in and started leaking. So that is what caused this to fail. I'm glad we just didn't get the seals 
because I kind of figured that it was going to be the whole thing. Alrighty, let's take a peek in here again. I know that took a little bit of time. So there's another rubber seal that's still stuck to the block. We'll get that out of here. Now, of course, I'm going to change the oil and I'm going to change the coolant. Um, so, all right, so there you go, everybody. If you have a mysterious coolant leak leaking down basically off this boss down here, it's most likely this oil filter cooler housing. I'm gonna get in here and clean this all up and put it all back together. So I guess I'll leave this here. Uh, I wanna thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe, you can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos. So if you have one of these leakings, I would not even bother getting just the, the uh, seals because you're gonna have a plastic failure like that. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you in the next one.